Today I will show you how I paint the easy fire effect on my miniatures. I posted a small tutorial on my Instagram and it seemed quite handy, so here you have the full video. This time it is 100% brush work, no airbrush involved. I started with the first layer of the white paint. And the brand will work. Using diluted white ink with airbrush thinner, ratio around 50-50, I'm covering the areas where I plan to make the OSL effect. I want to make it semi-transparent to obtain the natural gradient of colors. The area where the white paint is more saturated indicates where the strongest light will come. Next I will cover those areas with slightly diluted orange paint from Vallejo Air Series. Those paints are transparent so they are perfect for my purpose. The flame itself I paint the same way but without diluting the paint. I want to cover it uniformly. I'm smoothing the transition between the green armor and the OSL by adding a few thin layers of already mentioned diluted orange air paint. You can also use some inks here. Here I will use the heavily diluted white ink to fill the flame in the recesses near the source of the flame. On the areas where the OSL effect come, I will mark the brightest highlights with white paint too. I am focusing on edges and the main reflections. Time to make our flame brighter. I will cover the white areas with diluted yellow paint. I'm using for this purpose the gold yellow and sun yellow from Vallejo Air Ranch. Without marking the highlights with white paint, it would be impossible to obtain such saturated bright yellow color over the darker paint under it. This trick will help you not only with this effect, but it will be essential way more often.
With red paint I will darker the tips of the flame. Our goal is to leave the bright yellow near the source of the flame untouched. I try to make the transition smooth using glazes. As a final step, I will use a black paint to paint only the small tips of the flame. As previously, I tried to make the transition smooth using mid colors as glazes. And this is it, the flame effect with object source lighting effect is ready. It is a really easy way to achieve a very nice effect quite fast. Here you can see some final photos of the ready model. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.